All right guys, welcome back to Al's Random Vlog. Today, I wanted to go over my Tar Amps Smart 3K with you. While I have my whole truck ripped apart, I'm totally rewiring everything. I got uh, some new subs and a new box. So I totally have to relocate my batteries and all that good stuff. We're gonna pull it apart real quick here and clean it. I wanna show you a couple things about the Smart 3 that you may or may not know. A lot of people wonder, is it zero gauge? Uh, you know, no, this is not zero gauge terminals. There are four. I'll show you what I use. So this is my zero gauge to one aught reducer. I mean, double one aught re reducer, right? Uh, so let me show you. So this is originally how big this one was. Hope that's in frame there. And I had to grind it down like that in order to get it to fit into the tar amp the power right here. But if you see, this is way, way too big. Not nothing, not even close. But if you buy double zero to four gauge, that fits in there pretty well. I'm gonna come around and get a better, better view. So four gauge definitely fits. And even that, it's not that oversized for, maybe it's, a two, I'd say it's two, two gauge, is that a thing? Um, you can see, focus. And it's a good lamp, guys. I've really beat the piss out of mine. You can see it's scratched up. I've sparked it a couple times. And you think you unplug your battery. And, oh, zip, zip, zap. And I thought for sure I had blown it, but I hadn't. And as I got it apart, I'm looking on the bottom, guys, because I've ran this at half ohm, too. And it says right here, impedance, half ohm, one ohm, two ohm, and four ohms. So it does the whole gamut of impedances right there. I didn't realize that it would run five ohm stable because I've done it but I've worried about it blowing up. So it will. All right, we're gonna pull the bottom panel off real quick here and blow out the dust with the can of duster. Now doing this does void your warranty, guys. Just know, you take the bottom off, no warrantyola. I don't think I have a warranty on it anyways, but I was watching this other guy's video and if you live in a dusty environment, he said it's a good idea to blow these out because it gets caked with dust. Those fans get pretty dirty. And I did notice that starting up in the morning, this thing sounds pretty rough. It does not like the cold Minnesota mornings. You think they could have any smaller screws? I mean, it's just cheap, guys. I mean, it's budget, budget power. that powerful oh, it is oh yeah it's a little dusty not too bad so there's the guts of it guys oh my fans aren't too bad I actually blew it out this way with a duster <laughs> a little bit of dust <laughs> everything looks pretty good I've definitely had some wicked smells coming out of this thing while I've been just jamming full tilt Hundred and sixty volt, two hundred and twenty microfarad. Big caps, small caps are twenty seven hundred. No, I mean it's twenty five volt. I'm sorry, twenty five volt. These ones are twenty five volt. These ones are one hundred and sixty volt. Not too shabby, guys. I like it. Let me get my duster here and blow it out, and then we'll go from there. Here's a 
the fan. Alright guys, all cleaned out, the lid back on, and what's funny is like this is the thinnest lid, look at that, you can see it flex, it's the thinnest sheet metal ever, it's just unbelievably cheap guys. I'm not knocking them totally, but uh, I think they could have put a lot of, you know, five extra dollars worth of materials into it. So it's not quite so freaking cheap. No, they can't. Greedy bastards. I'm gonna tighten them all down all the way yet. Gonna get them in there and get them started. Oh, and happy birthday to my little bro, John. He is, how old is he today? Uh, he was born in 87, so do the math. 32? 31. 32. Happy birthday, bro. Love you. Miss you. He lives down in uh, North Carolina. He's in the military. He's in the army. He's a badass motherfucker. I don't want to mess with him. He will whoop your ass. Can the monkey put it back in? Can the monkey put the screws back in? I just gotta concentrate because they're freaking tiny screws. All right, do that. Blew out the extra chunk from the ground. And the remote. That's all I got to say about it, guys. Uh, it has not let me down yet. I've ran multiple subs on it. I've hooked up three 10 inch kickers. I've hooked up actually two 10 inch kickers and a 12 inch. Actually, I've hooked up three 10 inch kickers and one 10 inch um, CT sound. That freaking pounded. I really took, took the power really well. Um, this thing definitely puts out some juice, guys. So don't be hesitant to buy tar amps just because you know, their budget base or budget uh, power. Uh, it works really good, I like it, you know? Uh, I think it was like 300 bucks with tax and shipping and everything. And I've been, had it since June? No wait, June, July, I got this in July, right around my birthday. So July, August, September, October. So I've had it for four months and it works pretty good. The packaging is pretty chintzy. It came in this little box wrapped up and actually the outside box was kind of ripped and I thought maybe it got damaged in shipping. I always worry about that, but it did not. Also, I do have the Tar Amps 800 by four for all my mids and highs in the truck. I'll be doing a review on that later. I do not like that as much of the design because it just has the stupid um, fork plugs on the side. It does not have the big plugs like this. Um, yeah, I'll tell you that later. I think that's all I got, guys. Um, 